Hello everyone and welcome back to my bucket plugin tutorial series. Today we're going to be getting into permissions. So what we want to do is copy our last plugin folder and I'll call this tutorial 3 because we'll be using elements from the last tutorial. So if we go ahead and open it here, we'll have to rename some of these files, we'll need both of them. So what we'll be doing is using permissions to prevent the placement of blocks and usage of commands, etc. So this is our main class, so we'll rename this, I don't know, anti-block. Anti-block, that's fine. We'll rename the compilation unit to anti-block. And we'll also rename this because you shouldn't have the same name as I do in this tutorial folder. So you don't want to have the same name. So we'll change it to something relevant. So we'll call it, I don't know, block listener because that's what we'll be doing. Right, so we have to change some of these things here. So we'll name this to block listener and anti-block plugin oops so that's fine uh, we'll have to rename this class as well so now I've got it all set up we want to change some things around we'll get rid of this event and we'll be changing this one here so we can just empty that here and get rid of old imports so if we go back to our main class we'll have to rename this to block listener and so we need to add our permission. So up here, you want to write public permission player permission. That's just what we're going to call it. Equals new permission. And now in here, we want to name our permission. So we'll call it player, I don't know, player abilities dot allowed. So that's the name of our permission when we reference it like in the game. So we'll just import permission here, and um, I'm guessing you might know already, but permission basically allows players to do certain things depending on whether or not they have permission. So that's fine, our permission up here is declared, so you now on enable we want to add something here, it's called the plugin manager, so we'll add, oops, spelled wrong, plugin manager. We'll call it pm equals get server dot get plugin manager. So here we're getting our plugin manager. Now we're going to add a permission to the plugin manager. So pm dot add. Actually, it's not going to come up. We have an important plugin manager yet. pm dot add permission, and it's already here. Player permission. So that's great. We've added our permission in, but it doesn't yet do anything. <clears throat> and by default all ops get all permissions so basically what we're going to do here is something that only ops can do but you can give your permission to anyone you want so it's useful so here we're going to change our event to a um, block manipulation one so on block place we'll call it and I think there's an event called on block no block maybe what's it called block place event there we go and we'll call our event E. So we'll get rid of the unused import. So now on block place. Now what we want to do here is uh, we get our player. So player player equals E dot get player. That's pretty basic as we've shown in previous tutorials. Now what we want to do is check if they've got permission. So what we can do here is if now I'm going to do an exclamation point here, and I'll explain that after. But if, so player dot has, has permission. Now we're going to write in our permission, and I think we called it player abilities. Yep, player API. Yes. Make sure you spell it with the correct casing and everything. So player abilities dot allowed. Uh, yep. So basically the exclamation point means the opposite, if you will. So if player does not have permission, that's what it's checking for, the opposite. So you have to get used to that, because I use it quite a bit. Player does not have permission, player ability is not allowed. Event.set cancelled. Oops, it's not called event, it's called E. E.set cancelled. True. So basically, if the player does not have the permission, player ability is not allowed when placing a block, they will not be able to place that block. 
and we can leave it at that. That's fine. We can do other things later. I'll probably go into separate blocks in the next tutorial for placing down only certain blocks or not placing something like TNT or bedrock. That's fine. So that is a use of permissions and we'll also do one over here for a command. So I'm gonna write the block of code for entering commands. So I'll just skip through this as you've seen it in tutorial one. So what we're going to do here is, if the player has permission, we're going to give them items. If they enter the command, give me items, and they're allowed to, they'll get the item. So if, but this time we're going to check if they do have the permission, if player dot has permission, player abilities dot allowed, uh, we're going to give them an item, so player dot set item in hand uh, new item stack and we'll do material dot diamond I don't know diamond axe there we go so they enter the command and they've got permission they'll get a diamond axe in their hand um, I'll explain all this item stack and materials and further tutorials but basically all you need to know is I'm making a new stack of items with a diamond axe so that's fine, uh, we'll have to return true, down here, return true, and that should be fine. So there's our plugin, but remember the plugin.yml is here and we'll have to change all this. I'll go to tutorial 1 and grab plugin.yml and copy the commands bit here as you have to have the plugin.yml exactly correct, you can't have you know, this moved over in the wrong spot or whatever, because that will muck things up so we'll just fix this up now so we called it anti block with a capital B anti block oops our command was called what was it called let's check I forget these things so quickly give me items so oops give me items uh, we can add a description so I don't know gives the player items if they have permission and that's looking fine so we'll refresh our folder f5 now we'll export this get rid of these two and it's called anti-block finish I'll overwrite and we'll save it so now I'm going to run my server, hopefully I haven't got any errors, and we don't, that's just the bucket update, it's no big deal, anti-block enabling anti-block version 1.0, so we'll log in, alrighty, I'm an op, so I'll grab some items, so I should be able to place down this because I should have permission, and I can place this down which is fine. Uh, the other thing, I should be able to enter the command, so I'll see up here. There we go. Help. Anti-block. Give me items. So, give me items. And here's my diamond axe, my fine diamond axe I get. And I should probably make my description smaller for this here. As you can see, it doesn't fit, so I want to make it pretty concise. But now, if I de-op myself... And I write, give me items. Doesn't work. Doesn't do anything. I should probably make it, uh, and I suppose you could be able to make it now, give a message saying you haven't got permission. That's easy. All you gotta do is an else or whatever and send the player a message. So I'll also try our other thing of placing down blocks. As you can see, doesn't stay. It gets there from you know a small amount of time. But it doesn't really stay there, so it's not actually placing down the block. And you still have got the block in your hand, so you could do it so, you know, you get rid of the block or whatever, but it's not placing it down. And I'm lagging for some reason. So yeah, that's alright. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, you know, share it around, give it a like. I'll be doing a new tutorial soon on TNT and bedrock prevention as I said before so I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you soon